Hey everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel. I am Dr. Preeti here and in this video we are going to break down everything you need to know about sinusitis. Right from its causes to its effective treatment with homeopathic medicines. Respiratory tract infections are very common nowadays. Out of this, sinusitis is one of the commonest and it interferes with patient's quality of life as well as reduces work productivity. So let's begin with its definition. Sinusitis is a very common condition that occurs when the tissue lining of the sinuses become inflamed. But what are sinuses exactly? Well, these are small air filled cavities or empty spaces located in the facial bones around your nose and eyes. When these sinuses become blocked and uh, filled with fluid, it can lead to sinusitis. Due to blockage of the sinuses, back pressure occurs, then the nose starts to close, it will lead to adenoid, which is very commonly seen now in pediatric age group. Later, it will uh, lead to small swelling, which is uh, look like bullet, which is called as nasal polyp. Nasal polyp and sinusitis, both of them basically occurs due to allergy. And these allergies are mainly occur when the immune system of, of your body is weak. Now let's explore different causes and causative factor for sinusitis. Sinusitis can be caused by various causes including allergies, infection or even structural issues in the nasal passages. Bacterial infection, viral infection as well as allergies can irritate them and causing them to get blocked and fill with fluid. It's not clear exactly what causes sinusitis to become chronic or long lasting but it has been associated with many factors. The first and foremost factor is mechanical obstruction due to deviated nasal septums, any swelling within the nasal passage like nasal polyp. The second factor is focal infection due to common cold, nasal infections, uh, adenotonsillitis, dental extraction, any kind of trauma, exposure to dust or any polluted areas. The next uh, factor is allergies or related condition including asthma, hair fever, allergic rhinitis. Th then the next is the very important factor that is immunodeficiency or a weakened immune system. Next is autonomic imbalance due to emotional disturbance, stress, uh, thermal changes, change of humidity. Hormone imbalance is also an uh, important factor. Hormone imbalance due to pregnancy, uh, puberty, menopause, um, PCOD, hypothyroidism, etc. And the last but not the least is uh, smoking, etc. In homeopathic research, according to German New Medicine, conflict related to nasal mucosa may be the cause for sinusitis. A person smelling a trouble or a potential threat, for instance, smelling a competitor or an opponent at work, at school, at home or in a relationship, etc. For example, a child commits any mistake and realizes now he will be punished that fear may be the cause for sinusitis in that child or any offending odor or unpleasant smell but also if the particular smell is associated with danger. For example, someone who believes that exposure to cigarette smoke can cause lung cancer. Nowadays, some people google their symptom and gets frightened with probable diagnosis. This unnecessary anxiety trigger a strong fear and can be the cause for sinusitis in these people. If you are experiencing facial pain, pressure, stuffy or runny nose, headache or fatigue or even a sense of loss of smell or halitosis that is bad breath, these are the signs for sinusitis. For diagnosis, we can use imaging tests such as x-ray, CT scan or MRI to detect the inflammation within the sinuses. Now the treatment part, homeopathy is a medical system that uses extremely small doses that boosts a natural human defenses in spite of uh, inhibiting or suppressing symptom. Eventually there is more production of antibodies thereby strengthening the individual's immune system. It drains the sinuses, kills the germ and uh, wipes the infection off at the root, thus preventing its recurrence. It can treat the si uh, symptoms of sinusitis and provide relief from associated respiratory diseases and allergies. Alright, that wraps up our discussion about sinusitis. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe our channel. Thank you.